The FBI is joining with Mexican authorities to find whoever shot and killed three people with ties to the U.S. consulate in Juarez, Mexico. Drug violence has become a way of life in the border city, and now it appears the cartels may be targeting American officials. Up to the minute contributor Frank Uciardo has more. The murders of two Americans and a third person connected with the U.S. consulate in central Juarez could mean that Mexico's drug cartels now have U.S. diplomats in their crosshairs. It seems like these organizations, these cartels, have actually waited for these people to leave their offices and then to kill them as they're leaving the office. Former DEA agent and international security expert Robert Strang says this is a new factor in Mexico's drug war. We haven't seen this before. Most of the Americans that have been killed, it's been in crossfires between the gangs. It's there are some areas in Mexico, unfortunately, Juarez is one of them, the, where the criminal cartels, the drug cartels, are fighting for the control of uh, routes, uh, to uh, secured routes for introducing drug into the United States. Our heart goes to the families of, of those affiliated with the U.S. consulate in Ciudad Juarez. The last killing of a U.S. official in Mexico was the 1985 murder of a DEA agent. Kiki Camarini, a DEA agent, was was uh, captured, tortured, and killed in Mexico. Is it safe to go to Mexico? I mean, it's, it's, it's spring break. I mean, should people be wary? And I guess there's a travel advisory that's been issued by the State Department. It's a very dangerous place. It's spring break right now. We've got kids going down to Mexico uh, for, for one week, two weeks, uh, without real adult supervision. Um, you know, not only do you worry about them getting caught up in the crossfire, a 23-year-old girl was killed in the back of a cab in Acapulco this weekend. But Mexico's consul general in New York claims it's still safe to travel to his country. The areas of, uh, for the tourists to visit, the areas for most Americans visit are, are perfectly safe. And uh, you can see we are in the midst of a spring break vacation and we have thousands of kids visiting Mexico right now. The State Department issued a travel warning for Mexico and authorized government employees in six Mexican cities along the U.S. border to send their family members home. The border, it's like a toll booth for drugs and guns. It's a mess. The problem for the U.S. and Mexico is one of perception and reality. While the U.S. and Mexican governments praise each other for their stepped-up efforts in the war on drugs, the reality is that nearly 19,000 people have been killed in drug-related crimes in Mexico over the last four years, and the violence continues to escalate. Frank Uciardo for CBS News, New York.